welcome to the Review 2018 launch webcast. I am your host, Sasha Reed, and I'm joined by my two colleagues from product management, Luke Prescott and Sarah Moisen Thomas. Today, we're going to walk you through some of the highlights of Review 2018. We at Bluebeam have been hard at work listening and responding to our beta testers, getting this release ready. And since this will be the first time many of you are seeing Review 2018, we'll take some time to explore the whys behind these updates. And for those of you who are hearing about Review for the first time today, welcome. Bluebeam Review is a project efficiency and collaboration solution for those who design, bid, and build the world we live in. And we've heard from you, our customers, over one million design and construction professionals worldwide, that from the beginning to the end of your workday, review is an integrated part of how you work. Why? You say it best. There are times when a product or a process may change your entire approach to things. Bluebeam has been one of those products for us. It makes us more efficient, faster, it makes us more accurate and it's really put us at the forefront of our competition. We've been using Review for over 10 years. We had this epiphany moment where we realized we could no longer stay with sort of paper world. Review was purposely made for our type of business and we were able to take that very intuitive software and get ahead of the game. I think we have had Bluebeam for six years now. Absolutely, for the company it's good that we become more efficient, we can you know, bring in more money, but I think it's the people thing I think most about. You want to have world-class tools to world-class people. And I have world-class people here in, in, in Skanska. The first time I saw that there was an opportunity for Bluebeam to really change somebody's life was when I learned that there were a couple of project assistants that were spending 8 to 12 hours splitting apart PDFs. And I had just set through a Bluebeam training and I learned about Automark sat down with those ladies and we walked through it and got it done in I think 25 minutes and I just remember sitting there and looking at those two and they were just kind of like where has this been all my entire life this has been the last 20 years of my life. Everyone has access to PDF uh, and everyone can understand so it's a common tool across the whole of the industry and it allows us to design and engineer and construct in a different way in ways that we haven't thought of yet. Reviews allowing us to do all of that stuff and bringing the industry as a whole together and allowing us to push the limits further. If you get a new hire and you have Bluebeam loaded on their machine, they're never going to want to go to another program. It's not just about technology, it's the technology that supports human interaction. I sometimes ask them, what happens if I take Bluebeam away from you? They don't like that question at all. We feel incredibly humbled to receive feedback like this from our customers every day. It's what motivates us as a company to push ourselves to deliver the solutions you need. And when we take a step back to look at the state of business in general, the impact technology is having is undeniable. And we feel like we're taking this journey with you. Our release of Review 2018 is designed to allow you to fully focus on your work with faster and easier access to the information and functions you need at any given time. So, with that in mind, Luke and Sarah, let's get started. What can we expect to see today? Well, we've been listening as our users shared what they're up against with project budgets getting tighter and timelines getting shorter. So today, we'll show you how Review 2018 anticipates your next command and how to navigate through tools and files with more speed than ever before and how Review jumpstarts new users with preloaded video tutorials and resources, and finally, how our most requested feature will help save a few clicks along the way. All right, let's get started. Some of the biggest challenges that our customers face center around productivity, and a lot of the changes in Review 2018 were made with this in mind, both at the individual user level and at the team level. Yeah, that's right. So fundamentally, we know the strength of Review is to support design and construction processes. These are processes like performing a takeoff or resolving design and field issues or streamlining critical project communication via RFIs and submittals. These are just a few examples of how Review consistently enables our customers to be more productive. Now, we understand that tech is evolving, projects are evolving, and so are we. So let us be the first to welcome you to Review 2018. For those of you familiar, Review 2018 might look a little bit different. With Review 2018, expect easier access to common tools and functions supporting those design and construction processes. 
For example, we're happy to introduce the new properties toolbar. You can think of it as the right tool at the right time. Great, let's check it out. Okay, so take a look at the upper portion of review, just under the top menu options. With the document open, I have some basic document information as well as a button to easily add blank pages into this PDF. But now I'm going to select a markup, and this is where it gets really cool. I'll place a call out here off of this wall. And now the properties toolbar dynamically updates to include all kinds of relevant information and controls. So let's change the subject, add a layer, and modify these appearance properties. All of this without having to navigate various panels and tabs, allowing me to maximize productivity on the document at hand. There are over 40 unique configurations of the properties toolbar. In this case, I've selected an area measurement and I'm modifying some of the caption options. These configurations cover all markups, measurements, document properties, as well as studio sessions and projects. But we'll get to that in a moment. So up to this point, our customers have been harnessing all the efficiencies that come from being digital. But this takes that concept a step further to better understand the context of the work in order to anticipate what they'll need to customize their markups. Right. So we knew we wanted to increase the exposure of customizable markups. But we also wanted to help our users stay focused on the work and on the document at hand. Spend less time hunting for tools. That is so important. But keep going. I yeah. feel like you're on a roll. Okay. So we know that much of the core functionality in review is found in the panels. These panels are home to the markups list, the tool chest, and other common tools such as thumbnails and file access. If we could increase the accessibility of these panels, we knew that every review user out there could see a measurable bump in their daily productivity, and we know that that adds up. You'll notice here on the left, I can see each panel icon displayed in the panel access bar. Now, in review 2018, each panel is accessible with a single click. For example, the tool chest. And for those unfamiliar with the tool chest, this is where markups can be saved, reused, and shared with others within your organization or on your project. To close it, just click again on the icon or the blue line. Also, we've heard countless stories of that aha moment of first discovering the markups list. So, in review 2018, just like other panels, the markups list can be opened with a single click on the dedicated markup list icon in the lower left corner. The markups list is where markup data can be sorted, modified, and summarized. Making the markups list more discoverable and easy to access will hopefully give more of our customers that aha moment. We also got feedback that being able to tuck the panel access bar away is important to maximizing screen real estate and keeping focus on the document at hand. So a quick tip, right click on the panel access bar and select auto hide so the panel will automatically hide when you don't need it. Of course, any of these panels can be split off and moved onto an additional monitor. Again, helping to maximize focus on the document at hand, putting tools where you need them, when you need them. Okay, can I tell you a true story? Please. I remember when I started working at Bluebeam 10 years ago and I first discovered the markups list, I distinctly remember opening it and then immediately closing it again because I wasn't sure what I was looking at. But the moment it clicked for me, when I had my aha moment, was when I understood the level of control I was able to have over the graphical markup content. And eventually, as someone who loves lists, it became my secret weapon. And this idea of minimizing clicks to maximize focus and efficiency must have been a running theme for our beta testers. Absolutely. Our testers confirmed they do work differently in Review 2018. But once they became familiar with single click access to panels and the properties toolbar, they said there was no going back for two primary reasons. One, they're more efficient in review 2018. And two, new users could discover functionality faster leading to that aha moment. That is awesome. Thanks, Luke. Ultimately, time savings for the individual transfers into time savings for the organization. This is what's at the heart of improving efficiencies. But this isn't the only measurement of productivity. We also need to focus on effectiveness. Efficiency for efficiency's sake isn't what it's about. The quality of what you produce matters. So let's move now from individual efficiencies into how Review 2018 is allowing teams to be more effective. That's right, and there are team collaboration tools built right into Review. Review comes with Studio, which includes document management with Studio Projects, and real-time collaboration features with Studio Sessions. Studio Projects is a single centralized location to store documents, even entire building projects in the cloud. 
and studio sessions let project teams review, mark up, and update the same files at the same time, allowing partners worldwide to connect on the same set of documents. And we've heard from our users that a key factor to successful document collaboration is the ability to quickly find the information they need when they need it. And there have been some improvements designed specifically for team collaboration. That's right, so let's take a look. To get started, I'll sign into Bluebeam Studio with my email and password, or I could create a new account if this is the first time I'm logging in. Here on the left side, I'll see a list of all of my studio projects and sessions that I've already participated in. But for now, let's create a new studio project. And remember that projects isn't only for PDFs, but other formats too, drawings, specs, spreadsheets. I can store all my project documents in a single place. The new projects tab in review 2018 gives significantly more workspace that's dedicated to managing files. Uh, I can upload files or entire folder structures with these buttons and in 2018, even drag and drop to add files. This is the new dashboard style layout for studio projects. All of this additional screen real estate makes it so much faster to find files, and I can navigate through my files visually in thumbnail mode or as a list to see more detail. In addition to browsing, there's a new search bar at the top to help filter down those documents, and I can quickly jump to another folder through the file tree on the left or using the links at the top. When a file is ready for editing, I'll check it out. This provides a clear audit history of all versions of a file and prevents other team members from editing at the same time. My drawing will open in a new tab and I can minimize or close that project tab if I want more space for my drawing. I'll add a comment to the file and check it back in to make my updates available to the rest of the team. So I can check it in either from that properties toolbar that Luke mentioned earlier, or from the project tab. This is a major challenge for most project teams, how to centralize documents in a way that everyone can easily access them. We had a customer who measured the number of times a single submittal was downloaded, and it was over 50 times, a single submittal. Now extrapolate that over thousands of submittals. If this is an indication of the volume of access project teams need to all their documents and drawings, Making studio projects more intuitive had to be a major goal for us. Definitely, especially with the new dashboard style layout for projects. It makes it faster to find files and also easier to learn, which is especially important when collaborating with those external teams like owners or trades who might be new to using Studio. These updates, the dashboard layout, the search bar, drag and drop, and what I'll show you next, those come directly from our user feedback and research about how they want to manage files and get to what they need quickly and easily. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But those aren't the only enhancements to studio projects. And as you know, our users are some of the busiest people out there. Whether they're working on projects with different partners or across different phases of the project lifecycle, they've told us they need the fastest possible access to files. And an important part of that is the ability to work in multiple studio projects at once. So now, in review 2018, I can open multiple studio projects at the same time, each in their own project tab, so I can switch between different projects seamlessly and navigate through files in those projects independently. That properties toolbar will update with the appropriate project information, so I always know which files I'm working on. And of course, these updates aren't just for a single user, they're for the whole team. I can share files with external project partners, even those without Bluebeam review. Anyone can create a studio account to access the files shared with them. Or if I'm working with someone who doesn't have a studio account, I can send a link to download those files directly which means no interruptions to getting documents to the teams who need them. So in addition to studio projects, another way to share files and quickly coordinate reviews on a drawing is to add it to a studio session for real-time collaboration. I can invite team members to add comments. The whole team can immediately see those markups, letting them work and collaborate on the same file at the same time. I could send a markup alert to notify another attendee of a change or get an email summary of updates. And there's also a full record to keep track of all the activity that happens within a session. So these enhancements to Studio provide broad visibility across projects, extending that benefit even to those outside of Studio. This is what I was mentioning earlier about not just being more efficient, but also more effective. And this is a big step towards breaking down those silos of communication. Right, these updates are all about removing barriers between our users and their work. We often ask, 
how can we help optimize the time they spend in review so they can focus on the work that matters most? So if review can help cut down turnaround time for RFIs or minimize risk through really clear communication, then those are tangible savings. Yeah, and I feel like this is something that every industry report hits upon, productivity and collaboration. There is a measurable cost for ineffective information sharing that almost always results in rework. And rework almost always results in increased project costs. This idea of real-time collaboration is where the world is moving. It's about harnessing that face-to-face -face interaction or at least replicating that virtually. And I think that's especially true within the design and construction industries where our customers are dependent on collaboration and communication between cross-functional teams. I mean, there are over 600,000 people working in studio. So that tells us that we're on the right track, that this is the way our customers want to work. Absolutely. But we recognize that all of this collaboration loses value when there are too many barriers getting up to speed with the technology. So we wanted to make it easier to get into review itself. Luke, onboarding new project team members is something that our customers have to consider when implementing new technology. Absolutely true. With any tool, technology, or even building material, the faster someone can understand how it works and the best way to use it, the more productive they can be. With Review 2018, we want to ease the learning curve so users can get up and running as quickly as possible. We now provide learning materials directly in Review. Great, walk us through it. Okay. Upon first startup of Review 2018, and knowing new and existing users will want to orient themselves to Review, we've provided a quick video tour of Review 2018. This welcome page also includes a sample floor plan, including sample markups to help new users get a feel for how to work in Review. Now, back to the welcome page, when I select Launch Review Tutorials, I have a choice of six tutorials. Each tutorial includes a brief video, and some include sample files providing a thorough view of what's possible in review. For example, the Drawing Management module includes a complete sample set including revisions, categories, and tags. Let's select the Quantity Takeoff module. Sample tool sets will load along with the video tutorial and sample file. The sample file, again, includes sample markups referenced in the video and available in the loaded tool sets, showing examples of how review can be used to measure and take off many common building materials and conditions. So now we're really helping to bear some of that upfront onboarding work because when implementing technology, training takes a considerable amount of time. Well, that's right, our customers have asked us, What's the best way to use the markups list? Or what's the best way to do a takeoff? What better place to answer those questions than within review itself using a real document as an actual example? With sample tool sets, example plans, and a quick video, users can get quick answers to common questions. Of course, we still have comprehensive training options available at bluebeam.com. Which I'm sure our customers really appreciate. So this leads us to our final and most requested feature. Many of our customers say review is the first thing they open in the morning and the last thing they shut down at night. And when you live in a product like that, you're bound to have spent some time on customization. And specializing tools for the way you want to work. One way we've seen users do that is with keyboard shortcuts. And now in review 2018, keyboard shortcuts can be customized. And we've nearly doubled the number of tools that can have shortcuts, including batch tools and cut and erase content, which were some of the top requests from our users. So let's create one now. I'll go up here to Keyboard Shortcuts to find a list of all available tools and commands with their existing shortcuts here on the right. So let's say that I frequently use the Polygon Sketch to Scale tool for quick in-field sketches. I can create a brand new shortcut for this tool. Click Add and it appears in that list. Or I could use a shortcut already assigned to a different tool and reassign it to this one. Now I can use my shortcut for easy access to my favorite tools which saves clicks every time I use them. Those customized shortcuts will also appear in menus as a reminder, and they can be easily exported and shared with teammates. So this isn't just an update for an individual. This means that an entire company could create and share a customized set of shortcuts to standardize best practices for their company's commonly used tools. And I know a lot of customers who are going to be very happy with this. And I feel like a lot of them will push through the initial changes to the interface in part because we've now given them multiple ways to recapture that time. Stepping back, how are you seeing this add up to time savings for the organization? Right, so let's consider this from a company-wide perspective. 
Our testers have told us how much easier it is to discover and use tools in Review 2018. And really, our testers were excited about this from a business perspective. Imagine if your firm or project team could discover and learn five new things immediately upon using Review. That time, otherwise spent hunting for tools, is now spent on work that matters. That's a significant productivity increase right from the start. Yeah, it is. Again, going back to that concept of efficiency enabling our customers to be more effective out the gate. Holistically, Review 2018 is all about taking what's working and making it work even better. Absolutely. It's not just about removing clicks. It's about asking the question, where is our user's time most valuably spent? And letting them invest that time where only their expertise can bring about project value. We want to take away clicks, yes, and make processes faster. But at the end of the day, it's really about that time and its value. As we wrap up, we want to take a quick moment to acknowledge all the hard work by everyone at Bluebeam to bring you Review 2018. We also want to thank our beta testers who every year challenge us to deliver solutions that provide immediate value and productivity. And the good news is Review 2018 is now live. You can get it right now, upgrade or download a trial at bluebeam.com slash review 2018. We just scratched the surface today. So for an even deeper dive into Review 2018, join our Bluebeam experts in an upcoming live training webinar where you can see this evolution demonstrated in product and ask questions of our experts. Register at events.bluebeam.com. So thank you to Luke and to Sarah for walking us through Review 2018. And we thank you for watching. Till next time. <laughs>